Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm painting one of the big heroes, Finnerton the Giant from Zombicide Green Horde. So I started off by priming this miniature uh, with uh, Barbarian Flesh from the Army Painter. And then I did a little, something a little different. I started off by actually creating a skin with Corpse Pale. And instead of using a wash or a contrast paint, like a flesh paint. And this is just so that later on it actually goes into the recesses a little bit more and gives it a fleshy look as well to the Corpse Pale. Alright, so I move on to a Citadel color contrast, Saigor Brown, and this is for his beard, and actually I forgot to do his eyebrows, and I will do them uh, around the end of the video, actually. Next I use a Nether Citadel color contrast, Snakebite Leather, one of my favorites. And this is of course for all of his straps, his belts, and some parts of his boot where there's no armor. I just love this contrast. On white, on this color, on skeleton bone, it just comes out so nice. It gives belts a real leather-ish look and like a snake bite, you know, like snake and leather. I don't know, it's just really nice. I really like it. Then moving on to another Citadel color contrast, Gorg Gruntafer. Uh, now this is for all the wood parts, so on some of his armor he's got like wood padding, and on the side of his uh, leg too I found it was like a, sort of like a wood leather, and uh, also the uh, hilt of his great axe. Going back to acrylic paints, so the Army Painter's Fog Gray. Uh, this is for his, uh, what did they call it last time? A crude dress. <laughs> and I noticed it had like a bluish tone to it, so I wanted to do this, but then later on I change it. Later you'll see I'll add a basilicum gray to it as a contrast paint, but it makes it a little too gray, and I come back and put highlights of the same fog gray again.
so for this next part, which is pretty long actually, and uh, I actually forward it a little bit faster, so I use Claymore Blade by the Zombicide Black Plague War Paint set from the Army Painter. He's got so much armor on him, uh, so, but the thing is, I also ran out of another paint called uh, Plate Mail Metal. I didn't know it dried up somehow, anyways. So I'm using Claymore Blade, it's a little shinier. So I will put that Basilicum Grey on it, contrast later, and it gives it like a worn look. Really nice. So I actually forwarded this like eight times the speed, just so you guys don't have to watch all the armor painting on this guy. So I'm finally done with all the metal, and then he had this little piece of armor on him, uh, just on his left arm. It's hard to see, but so I used this new gemstone red, I believe. Yeah, gemstone uh, metallics from the Army Painters. They're new metallic colors. By the way, love them. Uh, and just to give it a nice little, because it's just red in the artwork, but I figured I'd give it some metallic look. Alright, then I used some crusted sore from the army painter, and this is just for a couple scars he has on him to make him look a little bit more uh, like old cuts. Alright, a little bit of abomination gore from the zombie side black plague paint set for his tongue. That's it, plain and simple. And then I'm going to use some Brain Matter Beige from the Army Painter for the teeth and a little dab for his eyes. Alright, so it's time for that Basilicum Grey that I talked about from Citadel Colors. Uh, it's a contrast paint. And this is going to go over the blue and it's going to go over some of the armor just to give it some wear. And I'm going to come back and highlight with that fog gray again on top of his uh, crew dress just to pop out some of the highlights. It still comes out nice though with that basilicum from gray, it's just it went a little too gray. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so this is where I actually go back to that fog grader and do the highlights on his crew dress. You'll see it, the blue comes out just nicely on it, actually. It gives that shading effect. All right, now we're gonna put some wash on here, the flesh wash by the Army Painters Quick Shade set. And uh, this is for the flesh. And this is where I said a while ago, since I had done the highlighting with the dry brushing of the uh, corpse bale, uh, the flesh color comes out really nice and you get your highlights right away. All right, so here he is, he's pretty much finished up. Uh, I add a little bit of a basing material to him. You'll see that in the picture coming up. And that's finnered and painted, and ready to fight the horde. Thanks for watching, guys.